the mind and this starts to say and do first Corinthians 2 3 my message and my preaching is not with wise persuasive true words of God's but with the demonstration of God God's spirit and his power so that your faith in God might not rest on people's wisdom words idle sins and lies but on God's power we do ever speak a message of wisdom of God's among the mature in God but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age or all the sinners and liars who are accomplishing nothing they'll only die forever now we speak of God's secret wisdom of wisdom who has been hidden from God's destiny and our glory in him before time began none of the rulers of this age understood it if they had they would not have crucified the Lord Jesus of glory but God has revealed it to us by his spirit spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of God for who among people knows the thoughts of a person except the person's spirit, spirit within the person in the same way? No one knows thoughts of God except the spirit of God. We have not received the spirit of the world. And the devil seeing all the lies say and do the wrong ones, then he dies forever. But the spirit who is from God that we may understand. What God has freely given us, this is what we speak to say and do. Write you to spiritually. Like him godly, not in words lies out of some sins taught by human wisdom, but in true words taught by the Spirit of God, expressing spiritual truth and spiritual words. The person without Spirit of God does not accept the things that comes from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to the person. The person cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The Spirit person makes judgment about all things, but the person, the person self, is not subject to any person's judgment, for who knows the mind, my mind of the Lord God that he person. God, that he, God, may instruct the person. But we have the mind of Christ in him, that lasts in God and his kingdom, eternal life, and live forever. Okay, hi everybody, I'm Pastor Marsha, pardon me. My allergy is really acting up right now, so pardon me. Um, I'm severely allergic to ragweed. It blooms every spring and fall until it freezes. It's not going to kill the ragweed, so pardon me. And I got a really bad headache from it, so pardon me. Okay, this song is, God is the way, the truth, and the life born through Him. God is the way, the truth, and the life born through Him.
day, like I said, my allergies are really acting up extremely bad, so pardon me, and I got a bad headache, and I got a piece of hair bothering me. Won't leave me alone. <laughs> It's supposed to be partly cloudy today, or what should I say, partly sunny. <laughs> and it's definitely fall. Amen, amen, weather. Hey, I'm Pastor Marcia. The loads of fish were plex truckers, but it's Christ Jesus, everyone. It's the Lord's Supper Sunday, so have you ready. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now listen. What do you hear? You hear God's holy angels singing and praising Him joyfully. Now stay in the spiritual realm of God. Love of Him first before you sell things of people. Serve and worship Him as a rule to God. Live your life for them be right spiritual like Him. Say it's two words of right choice for them, Him. Choose and belong to Him here. And you will stay in the spiritual realm. He will fill you inside. It's all we need. Towards eternal life with Him in His kingdom. You will listen and hear. hear. His angels singing forever with him. Amen, amen. Okay, anyway, open your eyes. Okay, now this week's sermon is the mind and its thoughts to say and do. Now, we had a lesson on this Bible verse a couple of months ago, but God brought me back to it. First Corinthians 2, 2 3, excuse me. My message and my preaching is not with wise and persuasive two words of God's, but with the administration of the Spirit of God's power. So that your faith in God may not rest on people's wisdom, words, lies, idols, and sins, but on God's power. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom of God's among the mature in God. But not the wisdom and sage of the rulers of this age, uh, lies, idols, and sins, who are coming to nothing, they'll end die forever. No! We speak with God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden, and that God destined of our glory in Him. Excuse me, I got a piece of hair driving me crazy here on my face. Pardon me. Been hidden and destined for our glory in Him before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it. If they had, they would not have crucified the Lord Jesus of glory. But God has built it to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God Himself. For who among people, people knows the thoughts of a person except the person's spirit, 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 spirit within the person? In the same way, one no one knows thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the spirit of the world, the world, the world. The devil sent all his lies to say and do the wrong ones that insights forever bind from them. But the spirit who is from God that we may understand. What God has fully given us, this is what we speak to say and do, right you to spiritually like him godly. Not in words, lies, idols, and sins taught by human wisdom. No, but in two words taught by the spirit of God expressing spiritual truth and spiritual words. The person without the Spirit of God does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to the person, and the person cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. They are. The spirit person, the spiritual person, makes judgment about all things, but the person, the person self, is not subject to any person's judgment, for who knows the mind of the Lord God, that he may instruct the person. But we have the mind of Christ in him, that last in God's kingdom, and this kingdom of eternal life, and live forever. Amen. Okay, now this week's word is depraved, means morally corrupt, wicked, evil. Okay, now this week's Bible verse is Psalm 4 1. Answer me when I call to you, O my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Okay, now God Himself knows, sees, hears, and there's everything you do and say here, for you cannot lie or hide to from Him. It's impossible. He's everywhere spiritually. His curse and anger is upon the all sins and liars, but he blessed his righteous, those who bears his name and his where you in on his eternal judgment, that his righteous will be not guilty and inherit his kingdom eternal life, everything in his kingdom with him, but the all sins and liars will be guilty, end up with nothing and burn the hell forever. Amen. Okay now which do you choose to belong to worldly worldly possessions? And pledge firm by your own once the daughter's flesh that same same thing that you see? And this craving lust for more does not satisfy you to make sure because they don't fit you inside. The wrong choice is childish ways to love first yourself things people are dying love. Serve master to worship idol sins, lies, and our sin or liar. You like them worldly. The badness, darkness, say and do, live for by a babe by and from. Unwise this world is your home and citizenship. Your dying is darkness has you. To trust, believe in um the weakest sicknesses I buy from this world. And you'll end up with nothing in the world.
world's great darkest death, burning hell like fire forever. But if you choose to belong to God Himself, to to live forth through Him, be like Him, Godly. Spiritual truth and righteousness, God's spirit, life, and the fruit of the spirit, and His goodness lives in us. God fills us aside. He's all we need. Satisfy us. We're one united, complete in God. To love first before ourselves, things, and people. That's an eternal love. Serve, master, to worship as a real to God. To say and speak His two words and do His right choice. To obey, by from we're wise in God. To trust, believe in, on strong faith in and on. God's our strength and cure. Our home sister possess treasures are in God's kingdom of eternal life. And in it is new host still and forever. Amen. Okay now. Pardon me, I got a piece of air on my face. It's gonna leave me alone. Okay, now I'm rich, I am. My home treasures, riches, possessions are in God's kingdom. And his new old city. I love God first before myself, things of people. He's my real to first love, I put love above all others. That's eternal love. He's my spouse, spouse to and promise. Relationship with committed to, to serve. He's my master to work late for king rule over me. To honor. Yes, he is. I honor him. And please, I'm devoted to, to impress, depend, rely on. I wish to pray about unto him. I trust, believe, and have strong faith in him. He's my strength and cure. If he's my faithful best friend, I have fellowship with him. Belong to his control of powers me. He's dominant over me. I live for and through God. I'm like Him, different. Spiritual, truthful, and righteous. God's Spirit, light, and the fruit of Spirit is in me. And His goodness. He fills me inside all in me. One united, complete in God, in connection with Him. He took an honesty and makes me happy and joyful. His musical is in me. I'm only a spirit and body former stranger and alien here, just passed through here for a short time. I obey and buy by from God and His two words, commands, commandments, laws, decrees, precepts, promise, statutes. Covenants, I speak and say God's two words. Language and learning more of his wisdom and knowledge. And do his right choice, way with cuss traditions. I'm wise in God. I prayed and give myself to Jesus Christ and sins to his cross. I've died with him and crossed over from this world's darks to death, graves, worldly, the low position of temporary life, dying the wrong choices, childish ways, enslavement, imprisoned by and from. And rose with Christ Jesus into his life, lighting him. Spiritual like him, the high position of permanent life. Living the right choice, mature in him, set free, saved, and sin no more. And being reborn, new, purified, and cleansed. I'm a new creation now. He's my leader to follow. He goes for me. My home sister treasures, possession, riches, and promise with God and his son Jesus Christ in their kingdom. And the new sin live forever. Amen. Okay, now thanks to people in the Holy Bible, still is today's world, and the end of all things, the people's in there. Yes, it is. For Christ's eternal judgment day, truth and kingdom. So be ready, be prepared. Amen there. Okay, now this week's children's lesson for everyone is needing a doctor for sicknesses. Now when we get sick, most of the time, or some of the time, we go to the doctor for medicine. But I'm referring to, to love first. Yourself and thanks to people that's a dying love to serve, worship them, use our sins, lives, become our sin, and I need them. Which are sicknesses and weaknesses of the flesh that sin, the wrong choice become like them, worldly, belong to dying. The world's darkness and its desires possess treasures, craving, lusting for more. They do not satisfy or to make you happy. The emptiness inside you say, speak, and live or buy, bay, buy from. Become unwise and clean the bad that kills. Best friend with, this is their home. To trust, believe in an on leader and guy, and you'll end up in forever, end up with nothing, and the world's great dark death burn out like far forever. But God Himself is our cure and strength, as we have strong faith in Him. To love first Him before ourselves, things, and people. That's an eternal life to serve and worship Him as a real to God and be like Him. To live for and through spiritual, righteous, spiritual, and truthful. God's Spirit, light, and the fruit of Spirit, in Galatians 5, 20, 26, lives in us, fills us all we need. And to an honesty, makes us happy, joy, for His music lives in us, and His goodness. And we become one united, clean God, connection with an entry, trust, believe in Him, belong to, live, living, have His light, life in Him, cleansed, and purified, a new creation, birth, to say and speak His true words, and right choice to bear by and from, as the Holy Bible teaches us, and have His wisdom. He's our leader and guide, His Son, Jesus Christ, who follow, goes for us. They are, excuse me, 
our faithful best friends will have and will have everything in their kingdom possess treasures home and you always live forever amen okay now ask yourself you like Cain 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 you murder his brother Abel Abel was a righteous servant of God in Genesis 4 Cain was against God and his Ten Commandments do not murder in Exodus 20 well are you like Cain you are if you're against God and his commandments in Exodus 20 Deuteronomy 5 and his anger cursed truly upon and honestly upon you and you truly and honestly and die forever but if you're like Abel God's righteous people and worship to love first serving God for him obey by him from God and his two words, King Commandments, Exodus 20, 25. Then his blessings are on you, and you will inherit his kingdom live forever with God himself. Amen. Okay, now it's time for the Lord's Supper. Excuse me, I really got a piece of hair. I don't know where it's at. Wait. I don't know. Excuse me. This keeps going to my face. I take mine every morning in 1 Corinthians 11, 20 to 26, for whenever you take this bread... Jesus' body drinks cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood. You proclaim the Lord Jesus' death on the wooden cross for our sin and our lives. We pray and give them to his cross. They've died completely. Crossed over from the world's darks to death, graves' death, being worldly, the wrong choice is dying. Enslaved and rose to his life, light in him, godly like him, the right choice, set free, saved, sin no more, mature in him. And being reborn, he purified, cleansed, and new creation. He's our leader and guide, goes for us to follow. 11, sir. Therefore, whenever you eat this bread, Jesus' body drinks cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood. And under the way, you haven't prayed and given your sin all lies to his cross. You just say and do them will be guilty of sinning against Jesus Christ and eternal judgment that you ain't die in the world's grace, darkest death, burn hell, like fire forever. The person ought to examine the person self does not sin anymore before taking the bread, Jesus' body, and the cup of grapes, Jesus' blood, without recognized body, blood, Jesus Christ, judgment on the person self. This is why many among you are weak and sick by from and through your sin and lies, and many have fallen asleep in their graves, died, until Christ Jesus comes again at the end of time for his final judgment. As righteous and faithful of his will be not guilty and here in his new holy sin like forever, but our sinners and liars will be guilty, burn like fire forever. For what I received on the night he was betrayed. He took the bread and broke it and said, Take eat, take eat now, this is my body get given to you in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of grapes and said, Take drink, take drink. This is my blood given to your members of me. The new covenant. Okay, now bow your heads in prayer to him for thanks and silence. Okay, now let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6, 9, 13, Luke 11, 2, 4. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, now let's all pray tonight together for God, for his righteous people, as our strengths in him, God, and stay strong in God, to trust, believe, and strong faith in on God, to worship. He's our, he protects us from this world's corruption, sin, all his lies that kills and devours, as God himself keeps us alive, alive, born through him, as we are like him, righteous, to spiritual, to love first, and serve and belong to that's everything in this kingdom of eternal life, and we'll live forever with God Himself. Amen. Remember that. Okay, pardon me. I had a lot of appointments the past few weeks. I don't know where this hair is. Pardon me. It keeps going on my face. Okay, everybody, get your holy Bibles out. Oh, wow. Plus, I had a lot of appointments, too, so pardon me past few days remember this Genesis 2 7 the Lord God formed the first man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the first breath of life the man became a living being Adam did amen remember that and God flooded the earth because it was covered with all the sinners and liars in Genesis 7 remember this as well Genesis 11, people were building a tower to heaven, so God started the land. So they stopped building the tower to heaven because they couldn't understand each other. Genesis 41, Joseph had dreams. He interpreted dreams. He was a righteous servant of God's. Exodus 3, God spoke to Moses, faithful and righteous, in a burning bush. Exodus 20, God's Ten Commandments we ought to be abiding from. Amen now. Get that. 
Romans 11, 26, 28. See, I'm sending for today a blessing and the curse. The blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I'm giving you today. And the curse, 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 you disobey the commands of the Lord your God. And turn from the way that I command you today by following other God all sins, lies, to lust and worship. You are cursed by him from them. Yes, you are. You are to only love, serve, and worship God and obey his commands. Amen. Judge 2, 17. You prostitute yourself to other God all sins, lies, to lust and worship them instead of God himself by and from them. You'll only die forever. Yes, you will. Amen, amen. Okay. Well, sun's trying to stay out. But it's that time of year is fall. Okay, um, we're on Psalm 119. We're on verse 153. Look upon my stuff and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your law. Defend my cause and redeem, save me. Preserve my life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, all sins and liars, for they do not seek out your decrees. You compassion is great, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes, all sins and liars, who persecute me. But I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faithless, all sins and liars, with loathing. But they do not obey your two words. See how I love your precepts. <clears throat> Preserve my life, O Lord. According to your love, all your two words are true, all your righteous laws are eternal. Amen, amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need a drink. Excuse me. Remember this as well. I said, page 4 5, you rulers. Whoops, excuse me. As if it's 4 5, for your maker, God himself, is your husband's spouse first. The Lord Almighty is his name. To love, serve, and bow down to him, promise to him first. Amen. That's right. Okay, pardon me here. He brought me to Jeremiah 16, 19, 21. Oh, Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in time of stress to you, the nations will come. From the ends of the earth and say, Our Father possess nothing but false guile, sins, and lies. Worthless idols that did them no good because they only die forever. Do people make their own gods, gold, money, and silver? Yes, but they are not gods. Therefore, I will teach them this time. I will teach them my power, might, then they will know that my name is the Lord. Amen, amen, there. Okay, pardon me. Excuse me. Give me a lot of Bible verses. Excuse me. Huh? Excuse me for a second here. Yeah. I've said this one for a while. Go to John 8 34. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins, 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 slave, sin, not a slave, has no permanent place in God's family. But the Son Jesus Christ promised to fair, so the Son Jesus Christ sets you free in Him, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham, God's faithful and righteous citizens, yet you are ready to kill me, says Jesus. Because you have no room for my two words, I am telling you what I have seen in the Father God's presence. And you do what you have heard from your father. Abraham is our father, he answered. If you were Abraham's righteous children, said Jesus, then you would do the things faithful and righteous Abraham did as it is. You are determined to kill me, a man who has told you the truth of God that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the things your own father does. We are not your children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, If God was your father, you would love me, for I came for God in here. I have not come on my own, but he sent me. Why is my language worse to choose not clear to you? Because you don't have to hear what I say, says Jesus. You belong to your father, the devil, the devil, the devil, and you want to carry your father's desires out of sin's lies. He was a murderer from the beginning, a holy to the truth, he, for there is no truth in him. He lie, 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 lies. He speaks his native language, which are idle sins and lies, for he is a lie of the father lies. Yet because I tell the truth of God, you do not believe me. 
can any of you prove me guilty of saying, if I am telling the truth of God, why don't you believe me? The person, the person who belongs to God, hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God himself. Amen, amen. Remember that as well. Okay, pardon me here. He's giving me a lot of Bible verses. John 14, 1, Jesus said, Trust in God, trust also in me. Verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father God except through me, 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 says Jesus. Amen, amen. Okay, pardon me here. Acts 5, 29, 32, we must obey God rather than people, people. Remember that. Acts 7, 30, 34, God appeared to Moses in a burning bush and spoke to him. Okay, pardon me here. He wants me to read Romans 5, go to Romans 5, excuse me. This forces, we have been justified through faith in God. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith in God and to this grace in which we now stand. If we rejoice in our hope of our glory, not only so, but we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character of being like God, hope. I think I read this last week or week before, but he brought me back to it. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love in our hearts to love God by the Spirit whom He has given us. You see, just at the right time when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly, all sin liars. Barely really is anyone to die for a righteous person, though for a good man. Someone might possibly die today, but God demonstrates His love for us in this, in this while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Since we've now been justified by His blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath, anger through Him? For this is when we were God's enemies, our sins are ours, we were reconciled to Him through the death of His Son, Jesus Christ. But how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through His life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have received reconciliation. Therefore, just as sin sin in the world through one man, Adam, and death through sin, and in this way death came in all people, because all sin. For before the law was given, sin was in the world, but sin is not taken into account when there is no law there. Nevertheless, death reigns from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even over those who did not sin by breaking a command, as did Adam, who was a pattern of the one to come. But the gift is not like the so trespass. But as many died, died by the trespass of one man, Jesus Christ, how much more did God's grace and the gift that come by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many again the gift of God is not like the results of one man, Adam's sin. The judgment follows the one sin and brought condemnation by the gift of many trespasses and brought justification. For by the trespass of one man, Adam, death reigned through one man, Jesus Christ. How much more will those who receive God have been a provision of grace, the gift of righteousness, reigning life through the one man, Jesus Christ? Consequently, just as well as the trespass was condemnation for all people. So what's the result of the act of righteousness was justification to bring life into all people? For just as though the disobedient one man, Adam, the many were made sinners, sinners so that so also through the obedience of one man, Jesus Christ, the many will be made righteous in him. The law was added so that trespass might increase, but where sin increased, grace increased all the more, so that just as sin reigns in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, he wants me to read 6 too. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We die to sin. How can we live it any longer? So don't you know that all of us who were baptized to Christ Jesus were baptized to his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism to death in order that just Christ was raised from the dead, dead, dead through the glory of his Father God. 
we too may live a new life in Christ Jesus. May God live a new life in Christ Jesus. If we have been united with Him like this in His death, we will soon also be united with Him in His resurrection. For we know that our old self, our sin and our idol, was crucified with Him, so that the body of sin might be done away with. That we should no longer be slaves, slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. Now if we die with Christ, we believe that we will also live with Him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, He cannot die again. Death no longer has much over Him. The death He died, He died to sin once for all, but the life He lives, He lives to God. <clears throat> in the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its evil desires, all sins and lies. Do not offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments to wickedness become all sins and liars, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life in Him and offer the parts of your body to Him as instruments of righteousness in God. For sin should not be your master because you are not under law but under God's grace. What then shall we say? Shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace? By no means. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone to obey the person as slaves, you are slaves to whom you obey, yes you are. Well, you are slaves to sin which leads to death forever, or obedience to God which leads to righteousness and live forever with Him. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you hardly obey the formal teaching the form of teaching lies, idols, and sins to when you were a slave. You have been set free in Christ Jesus from sin and have become slaves to righteousness and God. I put this in human terms because you're weak, weak, weak in your natural selves. Just as you used to have the parts of your body to slavery and to purity, ever increasing wickedness, all sins, and liars. But now offer them in slavery to righteousness, leading to holiness and God. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the cruel righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result to death for, result, those things result in death forever, but now that you have been set free in Christ Jesus from sin and have become slaves to God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness in God and the results of eternal life with him in his kingdom. For the wage of sin is death, death, death. But the gift of God is eternal life within Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen, amen. <clears throat> you brought me that one. Pardon me, I'm thirsty. Romans 9 1. I speak the truth of Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms in the Holy Spirit of God Himself. Amen, amen. 1 Corinthians 2. This week's. Excuse me. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come with. Eloquence or spirit of wisdom, I claim to you as testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Christ Jesus and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear with much trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive two words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit of God's power, so that your faith in God might not result on people. People's wisdom, our sins, lies, but on God's power in Him. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom of God among the mature in God, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age, all sins and liars who are coming to nothing, they'll only die forever. No, we speak with God's secret wisdom of wisdom that has been hidden and that God destined our glory in Him before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified Jesus Christ of glory. <clears throat> How is written, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no mind has conceived, what well, God has prepared for those who love Him. Remember that God loved Him. But God is revealed to us by His Spirit. Yes, He is. The Spirit searches all things, even the things of God Himself. For among the people knows the thoughts of a person except the person's spirit within the person. In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, of the devil, all sins and lies, but the Spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. This word speak not in words, lies out of sins taught by human wisdom, but in true words taught by the Spirit of God, expressing spiritual truth and spiritual true words. The person without the Spirit of God does not accept the things that comes from the Spirit of God. That's right, they don't. 
for they are foolishness to the person and the person cannot understand them. The person cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. They are. The spirit person makes judgment about all things, but the person per self is not subject to any person's judgment. For who knows the mind of the Lord God, that God may instruct the person, but we have the mind of Christ Jesus. Amen, amen. Yes, we do, as we live in Him. Okay, First Corinthians. Excuse me. He brought me to First Corinthians 5. I don't think I read this last week, but I did. Pardon me. It is actually part of their section moral. There is section moral among you, and a kind that does not occur even among pagans. Oh, I read that last week. Pardon me, I remember that. Okay, pardon me for a second here. Give me a lot of Bible verses, so pardon me. He wants me to read Galatians 5. It's for freedom that Christ set us free. Stand firm in Christ and do not let yourself be burdened against the yoke of slavery, sin, and lies. Mark my two words, I apostle to tell you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, God's love through the Spirit of Christ will be no value to you at all. Again, I declare to every person who lets the person self be circumcised, love God through the Spirit, that the person is obligated to obey the whole law. You who are trying to be justified by law has been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace, but by faith we eagerly await through the Spirit. The righteous for which we hope for in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith in God expressing itself through love of God. You were running a good race born through God who cut in you all sin a liar and kept you being the truth of God's. That kind of persuasion does not come from the one God who calls you. Lo, ye sin, 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 works to the whole batch of the whole body. I am confident in the Lord, Lord that you take no other view than the one the person I'll see on iris throwing you to confusion will pay the penalty they'll let die forever who the person may be brothers and sisters if I am still preaching circumcision why am I still being persecuted in that case the offense of the cross has been abolished as for those educators I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves my brothers and sisters were called to be free in Christ Jesus do not use your freedom to adult sinful nature which are Galatians 5, 19-21 Brothers, serve one another and love God's love. The entire law is a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself from God's love and sister's love. If you keep on buying the bound each other, buying from all sins, lies, watch out, you will be destroyed. You'll only die forever by and from each other. So I say, live by the Spirit of God and you will not gratify the desire of sinful nature. For the sins of nature is what is contrary with the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God, which is contrary with sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other. So that you do not do what you want and desire, but if you led by the Spirit of God, you are not under law. The act of sinful nature, obvious sexual morality, which is unmarried sex and cheating on your spouse, impurity, debauchery, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, self ambition, surge, and fractures, envy, drug, coolness, and the like. I warned you that I did foes. Deliver like you're not here to keep God. No, you won't. But the fruit of the Spirit of God is love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, down, and self-control. Against such, against such there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified, pray, let the sins die on the cross. The sinful nature with its passions and desires, since we live by the Spirit of God, let us keep a step with the Spirit of God. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Which leads to eternal life with Him. Amen. Okay, he's giving me a lot of Bible verses, so pardon me here. He wants me to read um, Ephesians 3. For this reason I apostle Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles, pagans who love some worship, money, or sexual moral. Surely I have heard about the mystery of God's grace given to me for you, that is the mystery made known to me by revelation. As I have already written briefly in re reading this, then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. Which was not made known to people, people in other generations, it is now being revealed by the Spirit. 
of God's holy, holy apostles, apostles, prophets, prophets. This means taught through the gospel of the Holy Bible. The Gentiles prayed and let their sin as lives die. Our heads together with Israel, God's righteous members together in one body, and share together in the promise of Jesus Christ. I became a righteous servant of God by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of His power, power, power. Although I'm less than the of God's people, this grace was given to me to preach to the Gentiles who were pagans, loving, serving, worship, money, and our sexual moral. The answer which was Christ, and to make plain to everyone the ministration of this mystery, which for ages past kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now through the church was manifest wisdom of God should be made known to the authorities of the heavenly realm according to his eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. In him and through faith in him we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you therefore not to be discouraged because of my suffering for you which are your glory. For this reason I know before the Father God from whom his whole God's whole family in heaven and on earth derives his name. I pray of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with his power through his spirit, spirit, spirit in your inner being. Maybe he's got to live in you. So that Christ may dwell in your heart, love him through faith in God. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love, God's love, may have power of God together with all the saints righteous to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses not knowledge of God that you may be filled with the measures of all fullness of God. <clears throat> now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask, or match according to his power, that is at work within us, to him glory in the church and in Jesus Christ throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, um, okay, now we're reading, um, then the time of Christ Jesus comes again, the back of the Bible is based on the end of time. When Christ Jesus comes again, John 16, Revelation 16. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go, pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The first angel went and poured out his bow on the land. And like a painful source broke out on the people who had the mark 666 of the beast and worshipped his image. <clears throat> The second angel poured out his bow on the sea, and it turned to blood of that like a dead man, and every living thing in the sea died. The third angel poured out his bow on the rivers and springs of water, and they became blood. Then I heard the angel in charge of the water say, You are just in these judgments, you who are and who were the Holy One, because you have no ju so judged. So they have shed the blood of your saints, righteous and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, and they as they deserve. Then I heard the altar respond, Yes, Lord, Almighty, true and just are your judgments. The fourth stage brought his bow to the sun. The sun was given power to scorch people with fire. They were seared in intense heat, and they cursed the name of the God who had control of these plagues. But they refused to repent, pray, and let their sins die, and glorify him. The fifth angel poured out his bow on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plundered in darkness, men grown their teeth in agony and cursed God of heaven because of their pain and their sores, but they feast to repent, pray, and let the sins of his life die of what they have done. The sixth angel poured out his bow on the great river Ephrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the king from the east. Then I saw three with spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are spirits of demons, perform miracle signs, and go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle of the great day of the Lord Almighty. Behold, I come like a thief. Blessed is the person who stays awake and keeps the person's clothes with the person so that the person may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. Then they gather the king together to the place then they gather the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The seventh angel poured out his bow in, into the air, and out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying, It is done! Then there came flash of lightning, rumbles, pearls, 
and thunder <clears throat> and a severe earthquake. No earthquake has this ever occurred since man has been on earth. So tremendous was the earthquake. The great sea split into three parts and the cities of the nations collapsed. God remembered battle on the great and gave her the cup filled with the wine and flurry of his wrath. Every honor fled away and the mountains could not be found. From the sky huge hailstorms of about a hundred pounds each fell upon people. And they cursed God on account of the plague and hell. The plague of hell because the plague was so terrible. Okay, pardon me. Like I said, I got a bad headache and my allergies are bad and uh I'll be glad in the way when the freezes so the ragweed stop blooming. No one God himself comes first, he means the most to love for ourselves, things people, he's our virtue first love. Act he loves me above all others, that's an eternal love. He loves he's loves to me because he created love in the beginning. Yes he did. He's our spouse, husband first, Revelation 2, 4, Jeremiah 3, 14, Isaiah 4, 4, 5. I also promise relationship with, commit to serve master, Luke 16, 13, 15, to work, labor for first, boss. First king, ruler over us, to honor, please, and press, devote to, to write, depend on, belong to, he's in control, powers us, dominate over us, to worship as a road to God, and pray and, and, and bow down to to say and speak God's two words and do his right choice, way will cuss tradition to bear by and from. God's two words commands and commandments in Exodus 20, Deuteronomy 5, Grace commands Mark 12, 29, 31, laws, decrees, precepts, statutes, covenants, and promises, wise and God. He's our faithful best friend, fellowship with, to live for and through. We're like him, godly, right, spiritually, truthfully and righteously. God's spirit light and free spirit lives in us. Galatians 5, 20, 26. His goodness fills us high all we need. Satisfy us and truly honestly makes us happy and joyful in his music. One united, complete in God. Connection with an end to see and hear going through him. To trust, believe, strong faith in and on. He's our strength and cure. God's an everlasting, caring, love, faithful God. He never leaves us forsakes us. God's our hope and go in life, our shelter and help in times of trouble. Shield from all the trials, tribulations, tests, and all his lives from this world. So we say God's true worship is right choice for unto him. We pray and give Jesus Christ our sin, all the lies to his cross. They've died completely. We crossed over from this world's dark death grave. Being morally enslaved in prison, the wrong choices. Dying in the low position, temporary life, childish ways, and rose to his life, lighting him. God, like him, set free, say sin, and more the high position of permanent life living. We've been reborn, new, purified, cleansed, and new creation. He's our leader and guide, goes for us to follow. We live as strangers and aliens here. Our home, treasures, possessions, and riches, and promises in God and His Son's kingdom, and in the new holy city forever. Number two, come to your house, spouse, family, and yourself. Number three, come work 45 hours a week. Number four, come to your friends. My number one purpose for my organization is to preach the gospel, God's truth, and kingdom eternal life, and help save God, God's righteous people, home to His kingdom, and prepare Christ Jesus coming again at the end of time with this new holy city. Number two, is help people. Number three, is help make our community state a better, safe place to live. Number four, help find missing people and such on noise. Number five, celebrate life, sports history. Number six, funny videos. And number seven, TikTok song videos. My son says he's going to put one up today, so I hope so. Another TikTok song video. Anyway, I be my government pure and pure some issues. And I've adopted my neighborhood, pick up trash, and keep it a nice, peaceful neighborhood. Okay, now. I'm an ordained pastor, so if you need my prayer services or have ideas for our community, you can email me. Okay, now talk us watching my sermons on the wife. Okay, my three-level apartment house. We put things on the curb last week for East Pure City Wife Cleanup. This week, getting the yard ready for winter. Okay, now, you can donate Bibles. Go on lovepackage.org. We'll send them. Okay, now, for affordable health care, go on healthcare.gov to apply. Okay, now, you can get a free outside side light put up for safety in Peoria I think it's to the city call city of call Peoria City Hall they should know who to contact I haven't mentioned it for over five years so I think they still do it or give you one okay now I want to thank you your businesses restaurants first responders doctors nurse pastors organizations carriers Delivers excited for what you do for our community, the Riverplex Gym, for my mental, physical, and social health. I listen to my Christian music for my spiritual health. It's open Monday through Thursday, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday, 5 a.m., 7 p.m., Saturday, 7 to 2 p.m., Sunday close. I had a good workout yesterday in the Lazy River. My oldest daughter 
and two-year-old grandson goes with me once a week. In the late afternoon, she's on my members. They're on my membership. I pay for, and I'll sing on the pure river front until it gets too cold out. It's between 60 80 degrees out. Weather permits. There's no event on Sundays at 2 to 2:30 p.m. It'd be on the site when I'm there. There's something going on. I saw uh, canopy tents and automobiles and trucks there yesterday. Okay, things to do in our community go on WC side, C side of, of events. Okay, there's a free clothing store for the poor and homeless in East Peoria, Illinois, called Enough Stuff. On Washington Street, a small shopping center called Washington Court. The store's <clears throat> in front on Washington Street. It's open Monday through Saturday, has a small food pantry, takes donations. One bag at a time, please. Thanks. God bless if you do donate. And they're in desperate need for some uh, good use children's clothes, too. So if you have any children's clothes. And food pantries are low due to the rise on food prices. So please donate. Thanks. God bless if you do donate. And Matthew 25, 35, 40, G said, I needed food or a drink, and you fed me and gave me a drink. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was sick and in prison, and you visited and cared for me. For at least one of these you did for me, says Jesus. Okay, and on this side, you can dolo some of my songs. I record on my computer. I preach and sing, pray and sing every week, and try, try, try and write a new song. I have a new song, and I forgot about it, so pardon me. I'll try to get it done next week. And try, try, try to do a story about life explorers history. I was going to do a car show that was on East Pierce Riverfront yesterday, but there wasn't, there wasn't any. So I think Google was wrong, and it had two different times on it. Anyway, I have to find something else this week to do. And donations and teas and offerings. We're to give a tenth of our money. Thanks. Or we're robbing, you're robbing God and under his curse if you don't. In Deuteronomy 14, 20-23, Malachi 3, 8, 9. If you do donate, thank you and God bless you for it. If you donate an offering to my preaching on the site. And try, try and do a funny video and a TikTok song video. And missing children in Central Illinois are on the site. As far as I know, still missing in Peoria. 15-year-old Arturo Alvaro Vardo, last seen September 28th. He's Hispanic, 130 pounds, 5'6", brown eyes, black hair. Logan Dunn, he's 32 years old, white. He has a mental illness and diabetic, 5'10", 170 pounds. If you have information on him, call Pierce Police Department at 673-4521 in Bloomington. Tanya Lockett, she's 52 years old, black, 5'10", 210 pounds. Black hair and brown eyes. April Caspel, she's 33 years old, 5'7", white, blue eyes, and light brown hair. If you have information on them, call Bloomington's Police Department at 820-8888. Okay, now be ready, be prepared for Christ Jesus. Truth, kingdom, and judgment day is near, and the end of all things, people is near. 1 Peter 4, 7. God bless America, and God we trust. God bless America. Whoops, I said. God bless America, and God we trust. And one nation under God. And God's fires cannot lit. The things of people from the Holy Bible still is in today's world. Yes, they do. Put on the former of God. In Ephesians 6, 17, from the evil ones playing minerals that comes at us all the time. That's right, of the devil. Sin not us lies that comes at us. So we'll say God's true words is right choice for through him. Okay, now it's righteous, faithful, spiritual, Truthful and holy in God are building up and planting to God's foundation for God's righteous people. Try to visualize children, disciples, those who love God first. He means the most comes first for ourselves, things of people. God's our real to first love. And loves too many because He created love in the beginning. That's an eternal love. Spouse, vows to and promise first. Relationship with committee, serve, master, work, or labor for first. King, rule over us. To honor, please, to press, devote to. Rely, depend on God's our faithful best friend. Fellowship with. To worship, pray about unto God's and everlasting love, caring, faithful God. He never leaves us or forsakes us. No, He doesn't. We belong to God. He's in control over us and dominant over us. He's our hope and future that's eternally with Him. To trust, believe, and strong faith in Him. He's our strength and cure and help in time and troubles, our shelter and comforter. We've learned God's true words of language and learning more to do His right choice, way, what cuts, traditions to bear by from. His two 
words, commands, and commandments, the greatest commands, the laws, creeds, precepts, statutes, covenant promises, were wise in God, like God, godly, spiritual, truthful, and righteous to live on through. God's spirit, light, and the fruit of the spirit lives in us and his goodness. Lives in us, feels us, sighs only. He truly knows he makes us happy and joyful in his music. We're one united, complete in God, connection with an end to see and hear, formed through him. We've prayed and given Jesus Christ our sin, all the lives just crossed. They've died completely. Crossed off from this world's grace, dark death, worldly like them, dying in the wrong choice, childish ways. Enslaved and imprisoned by and from idle sins, lies, and rose to his life, light in him, godly like him, living. The right choices. Mature in him, set free, saved, sin no more. We've been reborn, new purified, cleansed, a new creation. He's our leader and guide to follow, goes for us. God's blessings on us. We live as strangers and aliens here, just passed through here for a short time. Our home, sister, possession, treasures, rich and promise in God's kingdom and his sons of eternal life and new holy city live forever. But to those who are tearing down, uprooting themselves, other people and tribe who loves themselves or things, people first, they mean the most come first, a dying life with. Commit to serve, master, work, labor, for first, world, to honor, please, and press. <clears throat> Devote to right, depend on best friend and fellowship with. To worship our sins and lies and our sin on our belong to. In guitar, powers dominant over, no future. <clears throat> and in dice forever. To trust, believe in and on. The weakest sickness is worldly like them to say and do live for a bye. Bay by them, the unwise, unclean, the badness. The world's possession, pleasures, wants, desires, the flesh that sing, sing, sing. Crazy and lust for more, they do not feel them inside or make them happy. They're digging their own grave, playing with fire, fire skills lit. The world's darkness has them, they're dying. God's name and curse upon them. This is their home, belong, citizenship. And they'll be completely torn down, uprooted in their graves. The world's dark, dead, burning hell like fire forever. Okay, now let's pray. Bay has closed your eyes, fold your hands. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, we've been covered and cleansed. From our sins have prayed and given them to you by your blood and sin no more <clears throat> we're like you now godly as you feel us inside and like God godly now spiritual truth and righteous you feel us inside all we need satisfy us we're happy now and joyful we have your music oh Lord God you is our rock keep us safe our shield from this world sinking sand that virus kills We've learned your two words and learning more and do your right choices, Lord God, to be abiding from. We belong to you, for God, we know your anger and curse is truly not upon this world because of all the all sinners and liars of, in this world. And they'll truly not see and die forever, but we bear your name, Lord God. Your blessings on us, for it as your righteous people, we know people laugh and mock at us, and we are to suffer for bearing your name. But our future and our home is with you and your son and live forever inherit everything your richest possession treasures us forever as we in heart love you first and mind to think about serve master to worship say and do true your true words and do your right right choices more like you that's throughout eternity our future is forever with you and your son and lord god thank you for everything creating us and giving us your first breath of life for our breath of life is in you god and for giving your son to suffer and die for us, Lord God. We pray for Israel's war from the invasion from the Jewish state. For the victims, Afghanistan's earthquake killed over 2,000 and over 9,000 injured for them. Their families the victims, North Carolina's Virginia's severe storm for the victims. Ukraine's war from the Russians for the victims, Lord our God. Thank you for everything, creating the heavens, earth, and us. And for taking care and providing for us. We pray for the farmers. Rulers, workers, poor and needy, widows, orphans, first responders, teachers, students, veterans, soldiers, missing, and their families, restaurants, business trafficking, and their families, lonely, shut in, sick, and in pain, bankrupt, unemployed, pastors, organizations, Lord God, for the published book I've written for you, and songs I sing to you, God, so they'll help save and guide your righteous people home to your kingdom. And for those going through something personal, Bob, Jesse, Mike, Robin, Austin, Heather, John, Don, Ron, Don, and his girlfriend, and daughters, and for your righteous people everywhere, we pray, amen. Okay, now may God's love, peace, joy, spirit, truth, and righteousness, light, shine in on you now and forever in this kingdom of eternal life. And li 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 living forth through God, like Him, God, like righteous to His spirituals, everything in God's kingdom of eternal life, but without God is nothing that's saying. 
dying, being worldly like them, ends dies by and from them. Okay, now I'll sing another song. Have a nice, peaceful week. God bless and loves you. And pardon me, like I said, my allergies are really bad. I got a really bad headache, so pardon me. Into a ragweed that stops blooming. Excuse me. I'm going to try to sing this apartment like I said my allergies are bad. Tick tock, it's time, the time is now. The time is now. Thank you.